here comes the here comes the y'all don't really worry like oh, yeah. here comes the part about being a part of the Sierra Inline Hockey League? Um, just being able to play with everyone that I friends with, really. That's just playing hockey. <laughs> well, I like seeing how all the kids that who started out can barely skate now up and skating really well and can do a lot of good moves. Um, just kind of just playing, playing hockey. I play ice hockey, but um, the closest rink so far is in South Lake Tahoe, so it's just kind of a quick fix for living down here in Carson, so it, 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 it's a fun sport. I recommend it to people all over. Awesome. So. Um, it's really fun. Making new friends and like, playing with them and playing against them. Playing with the team. And how long have you been a part of the league? For about two years. This is my sixth year. Five years. This is my first year. What is your favorite part about the games and practices? The scrimmage, that's definitely my favorite. My favorite game is red light, green light. Red light, green light? Mine, mine is, um, you had the stuffed animals and you had the Probably scrimmaging the most. Uh, well, I like doing um, shooting drills. So what is your favorite part about being a coach for the Sierra and Klein Hockey League? My favorite thing is coaching little kid hockey, we call it. It's mm -hmm. the littlest, it's the youngest kids, and we see the most progress. They start out, many of them have never even skated, and by the end of the year, they're actually playing hockey. I'm really enjoying coaching the kids. It's really incredible to watch their abilities and how much they mature just over one season. As you can tell from some of the video that you're going to be seeing, you can see just a few weeks ago a lot of these kids could barely stand up on the skates and now where they are today. I'm very impressed. So can you describe to me how some of the games work? The games work, this we call it Hockey 101 mm -hmm. and during the year we just do scrimmages and for a half hour every day in our hour and a half practice we do a scrimmage and at the end of the year the reward is they have a real game with a real referee and a scoreboard. And we have two teams, and we even them up, and it's a championship. What teams do you coach for? Well, I coach 14U and the high school teams. How do the games and practices work? Well, we practice twice a week, 14U and 17U, one on Thursday night and one on Wednesday night. Practices are from 6 to 7.30. And games? Games are Friday nights starting at 5 and they get over about 9 o'clock. Is there any way parents could incorporate themselves into being part of this? Yes, we could use help with coaching, we could use help with setup, we could use help with team coordination, we could use a lot of help from parents. Well, if they want, they can actually join the board or they can help out at the snack bar during games. Um, a lot of parents like to come out and skate with their kids when they're first learning. Tonight, we, I think we had about a half a dozen parents They were actually skating with the kids and helping them, help them along. It really helps, the more the merrier. So what exactly is your position in helping the Sierra Klein Hockey League? Uh, my son plays, and so I'm just helping out as a dad. All right, so you're saying parents can help their kids with the coaches? Absolutely. Can you do anything for parents who can't get their kids new hockey gear? Yes, we always make sure that kids get a play, regardless of their income level or regardless of the equipment they have. I've been collecting it for years and the league's been collecting it for years, so we always gear them up. Um, if, if it's a, a financial need situation, they can play for free. If you could give any advice to any new upcoming members, what would you tell them? What's that? Skate hard. I would tell them, hey, are you new? And then they would say yes. And then I would be friends with them. And then I would be friends forever. So it's easy to make friends? Mm -hmm. But it's fun. fun to stick on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> it's not always about winning. Do as best as you can. Practice. Um, play hard. Train. Um, 
don't don't give up just because you can't skate or you can't shoot. Just, we've all started there, so just don't ever give up. That it's fun. It's just skills and drills. Um, it's not really too competitive. Uh, don't be nervous and try your best. Uh, just have fun. Don't worry about winning or losing, especially when you're just going to have fun. If you could give any advice to any newcomers, whether it's somebody who's coming to coach, a parent that's coming to help, or a kid coming in to play, what would you tell them? Be prepared to have fun. I mean, it's all about the kids having fun and learning how to play the game and enjoying what they're doing. I would tell them always to go for the puck and play as hard as you can. I'd say come down and try it. Bring your children down here, bring your adult. If you want to come down and try skating, it's all winter long down here. It's a phenomenal rink. It's a phenomenal floor that we have down here. It's the only thing like it in the area. Can't go wrong. I would say that if you don't play hockey, you've lost all hope. <laughs> it's that okay. much fun. Oh, here comes the, oh, here comes the, oh, here comes the,